and welcome to the second video of Bequa Butterflies Test Kitchen. Okay, so if you watched the first video, we made a double batch of the Test Kitchen dough, and then I made a single batch of the regular as the uh, recipe said to make it dough. So, why don't we go ahead and this has been resting for a couple of hours in the fridge. So I'm going to go ahead and I want I have my KitchenAid pasta uh, press right there. So I'm going to turn this out and I'm going to save this because I'm only going to start with half of this and then wrap it back up so the dough does not dry out while I'm waiting for it to go through the press. Because this is the very first time I'm using the press. So I'm not, I've watched the videos. Near your door. <laughs> Someone's at your front door. Okay, so I'm Cutting the pieces of dough into like walnut sized pieces. And of course my kids are home now. So there we go. We have three, six, nine, twelve, twelve pieces. And I'm gonna just kind of roll them into little balls. And then I tried to get my littlest son to come put these in the machine, but he's involved with building Legos. So that's fine. So you kind of just roll it into, it doesn't have to be perfectly shaped balls. I've watched other um, videos on YouTube and you need, oh, okay. So I have the Bucatini uh, attachment on there, or the press die. And I figured I'd do the Bucatini first and then I would do the spaghetti next. Um, the other ones were really, were kind of good on those right now, but I have a special uh, recipe that I use in my uh, Instapot pressure cooker for the uh, Bucatini. It's, uh, Bucatini is, if you eat uh, the beefaroni, that's what those noodles are. Um, so I make my own, basically, beefaroni. Uh, but I'm gonna put just two, let's just start with two balls right now. And push them down, try to get them. They're supposed to and then here we go and I'm going to pause this so I can mute this part because it's going to be loud I have to turn this on to number 10 and so it's going to be really loud and I can't talk <music> Spaghetti one on, and it's so nice 
that you can actually just put it, change it. It's not, it's not like when you're uh, decorating a cake and you can't put on a new one. I mean, they're, they do have one of those, but most of the time you, if you baked a cake and decorated it, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so there's the spaghetti one. There's some still in there. Um, one tip I did get from another YouTuber um, was to go ahead and just leave the pasta dough in this and let it dry out and then use the little pick that comes with it to get the dried, because it shrinks. So all you have to do is kind of pick around and because uh, those holes are really small, but it does have a really nice um, metal pick that comes with um, this whole entire kit. So I'm gonna pause this again and then do the spaghetti for a little bit and get back on here. good tip. I put flour all over the silk hat and I got my fingers really dusty and I've been just kind of doing this to the pasta as it comes out and it's really nice um, that everything is staying. Um, I wish I had done this with the bucatini um, because now 
I can do the little uh, knot and have it dry like that and voila. Um, yeah, the first one is a little, it is not flowered well, um, but the last ones look really, really good. And I'm also thinking maybe I should have just let it, this dry out instead of putting it back in there. Um, it does seem that the first ones were a little on the um, moist side, um, but now that I've let this stuff set out, it is the, um, after rolling it, the outside is drier and it's going through a lot nicer. So that was my, that was the one that went by the actual recipe. Um, I still have this massive piece. I think I'm gonna get out my um, manual uh, pasta uh, hand crank and see what it does with that. As soon as I'm done with uh, finishing, I have four little balls still to go and then I'll be on to that. So I'm gonna make another video with the test kitchen. Um, this has the semolina and the double zero flour in it and I'll be using it with the manual uh, hand crank. So catch me on the third video. Thanks guys.